Hi everyone, so this is just going to be a collective haul video. I got something from Amazon, something from The Range, something from Pets at Home, and I've also got a Vive order that's supposed to be coming on Wednesday or Thursday. So the first thing I bought was this box of Naturals Meadow Hay Cookies by Rosewood. Essentially it's just a kilogram of hay compressed into little cookies, suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas or daegus. I gave my chinchilla one, but the rest are going to be for the guinea pigs. I'm really sorry about the lighting in here, it's it's not very nice outside, it's raining pretty hard, so it's a bit difficult to get the lighting right. Those were $3.99 from the range. So next from Pets at Home is this little box of banana and papaya snacks. It says it's suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs and chinchillas, but it's got big chunks of fruit in there, so I think I'm just going to give them to the guinea pigs. It's a 60 gram box, I think it was $2.50, and it, just, it looks really nice, it looks really natural. It's also got carrot as well in there and some hay and my camera's not focusing at all so I'm really sorry oh, there you go. <laughs> so the next thing and possibly the most important thing that I have bought is this first aid kit for pets now this is by Relevet I think yeah by Relevet and I just thought I'd show you what is inside this first aid kit it's only little but um, you can it's got quite a lot of things squished in here and I thought I'd show you those so firstly we've got a roll of microporous tape, we have a large dressing that is 10cm by 12cm, a Reliform conforming bandage which is in a smaller size, it's 5 by 4cm, a little pair of scissors. a child size foil blanket and they even send you a couple of biohazard bags in there as well for dirty swabs or bandages or whatever the other side, firstly there are two pods of saline eye wash or wound wash four alcohol free wound cleansing wipes A little pair of tweezers and um, we've actually already got a pair of tick tweezers so I have to make sure I add this to the first aid kit too. A medium dressing, this is 7.5 by 10 centimetres. Two pairs of powder free gloves in the medium size. And last but not least a five pack of non-woven swabs. These are supposed to be for general cleaning and absorption. So that is all that is in the first aid kit. It's a really nice little kit. It's sort of got a little buckle on the back that's pretty sturdy so you could attach it to a belt and it's got two clips on the top so you could also attach it to a bag and it's just a really nice compact little kit. This was £10 from Amazon and I'd really recommend these to all animal owners, especially people who've got dogs or cats. Sorry for the change in scenery, it's just the lighting's a little bit better in here. I got my Viva order a little while ago and I thought I'd just show you what's inside. So the last time I ordered from Viva, about a month ago, they were really good, everything was packaged brilliantly, all bubble wrapped on the top, but as you can see, there's maybe only one or two items that have actually got been packaged properly, and I don't mind, as long as everything is still safe for my animals to play with, but I just think that Viva should maybe be a bit more consistent on their packaging. But anyway, let's get into the haul. I'm going to post all of the prices in the description box below. So firstly, we've got these two corn dollies by Just For Pets and Cole, and they're all natural for rabbits, guinea pigs and other rodents. I don't know who's going to get these. I don't even know if they're completely safe for the guinea pigs to eat all of them, but I just thought they were so adorable I just couldn't pass them up. We've got this set of or board and break a wood, woody snibble sticks even. These are for rabbits, hamsters and other rodents. I thought I might give a couple to the guinea pigs and just save the other ones. The next thing is this. I tried to order this last time but they were out of stock and this is the board and breaker carrot dream catcher and I will show you the tag if I had enough hands to do so. There you go. So it's stimulating fun for rabbits, hamsters and other small animals. 
I just thought it was really adorable. I was going to give this to my friend's hamster, but it's actually much bigger than I thought it would be, so I think I might just pop it in my chinchilla's cage, because it's just really cute, and kind of goes with her whole natural theme. So the next thing is... I have no idea what that is, I just need to open that, if you'll give me a second go. Alrighty, so I got the bubble wrap packaging open, and it's not what I expected it to be. It is actually a small collection of syringes. They were all pretty cheap. I just bought these for manual feeding or for giving medicine. I hope I never have to use any of these. But I've got two one milliliter syringes, one five milliliter syringe, and two 10 milliliter syringes. And I also got this pack of 10 sterilized pipettes. I thought these would be easier to give water to an animal that's not drinking properly because it's got less chance that you will accidentally choke them, which is definitely not something I want to do. Hopefully I'll never have to use these, but it's always handy to have some just in case. So then I've got this Rosewood Naturals Trio of Fun Balls. It says they're ideal for all small animals, and one of them is rattan, one of them is seagrass, and one of them is water hyacinth. So again probably share these out between the guinea pigs and my chinchilla. I'm not sure who will get what, but the guinea pigs probably won't play with them unless I stuff some kind of food inside of them, so we'll see, we'll see. I also bought this Toys From Trees pear chew, and I really wanted the ladybug or the lizard but they don't seem to sell them on Viva anymore, either that or they're just permanently out of stock because they're so popular. It says they're suitable for hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, rabbits and other small animals. Again, don't know who these will go to, but I might put it in Remy's cage because I don't think it's fruit flavoured, so the guinea pigs probably won't be that interested in it. I also bought a small and fairy corner rattle toss roll and rattle toy. This is for the guinea pigs, I don't know if they'll do anything with it. But I'm just trying to get more interested in toys and playing because I just I want to improve their overall quality of life. They've already got toys and we already take really good care of them. But as I think it's the KV house told me, you can never have too many toys. <laughs> Next thing I bought, this is actually for my friend's hamster, but I, it doesn't look hugely natural, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna give this to any of my animals. It is a celery cob. You didn't get to choose which ones you had and it was a bit, it wasn't really very informative on the ingredients on the website but if it will focus you can see that it looks like there's quite a lot of E numbers in there um, and I think it's probably a bit too big for hands as well you can see it's sort of the size of my fist, it's kind of tensible sized and this would be a really nice treat if it was natural and it was pretty cheap but I don't think I will be using this. It's also got a fairly short date on it as well. Okay, so I've got these Snuggle Safe Lufa Salad Tomato and Cucumber flavoured chews. And it says they're for rabbits and guinea pigs. I was planning to give a couple to Remy, but as it says just rabbit and guinea pig, that is what where they will go to. They'll just go to the guinea pigs. Hopefully they'll like the fact that they're flavoured. I think they're flavoured anyway. <laughs> it just says they're not for human consumption. Again, not one that's particularly brilliant on the information. But they weren't particularly expensive, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I've got another bit of bubble wrap to <laughs> contend with. So again, I will see you in just a second. So in that giant blob of bubble wrap was this teeny tiny Mason Cash hamster food bowl. And again, this is for my friend. It is in support of the RSPCA. And there were several different colours. I think there was blue, red, orange, and green. And they were all really cute. I'm glad they sent me this one because they were all really pretty. And I'd have liked any of the colours, but green is definitely a really cute choice. This one was fairly cheap as well. I just thought it was really sweet and ceramic and nice and heavy, so hopefully my friend's hamster won't tip it over too quickly. Ok, 
today. So I've got this huge Rosewood Naturals double wood roll. It is far bigger than I thought it would be. It's absolutely gigantic. It's about as big as my hand. It is basically two chunky rolls of carrot and parsley on normal wooden roll. It says it's ideal for rabbits, guinea pigs and most other small fairies. This is going to go to my guinea pigs, but they've already got something similar in their hutch at the moment. So I'm going to save this, I'm going to put this away and they can have it at a later date. Alright, so from Small and Fairy, I got a large pack of six bark and bites. It says it's a tasty combination of crunchy wood and crispy bark. I thought these could go to Remy because she really likes to chew on bark and pull all the pieces off. And it might be, it's worth a go. It's even got a little picture of a chinchilla on there. Very cute. These are pretty inexpensive as well. I think they were less than a pound. Okay, so in here, one of the most important things I have bought other than the first aid kit is this Supreme Science Recovery. It is a liquid feed for recovering small herbivores. It says it's liquid feed for sick animals, suitable for syringe feeding, essential dietary fibre and vitamins, and includes a feeding syringe. So I may not have needed to buy all of those syringes. It says it's suitable as a complementary pet food for rat, guinea pigs, chinchillas and other small animals requiring a high fibre diet. But however, nutritional supplementation may be necessary. I just I chose this one for the Oxbow Critical Care because I thought it was just easier because it comes in sachets. This is actually a pretty big syringe. So that is useful because now I have another different size syringe to use. And I read that once you open a pouch of critical care, you have to use it within 24 hours, preferably. So I just thought it would be easier if it came in sachet form. That one was the most expensive thing I bought. It was just over £16. But again, I will pop the price in the description box. Alright, so we're getting towards the end. It looks like this is my final big bubble wrap thing to open. Be back with you in a second. Alright, so this is nothing particularly exciting. It's just a spare water bottle for Remy's home. It's by Katie. It is chew proof and it's got a little duck indicator. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little duck indicator. I think it's made of plastic. Um, so the one that's in her water bottle at the moment, I did take out the little plastic thing, but it looks pretty good. It's it arrived all safely so nothing seems to have been damaged so everything that I kind of take it back it was all packaged all right so I'm kind of having some trouble speaking today okay so the last thing in my box is the small and furry carrot toy it is a sisal carrot it says small pets need playtime too and of course that is right it says it's safe, lightweight material, so pets can fling and fetch for fun. It's also filled with beans, so it rattles as it rolls. I don't know if you can hear that, but never mind. It's sizzle surface, perfect to... <laughs> it's sizzle surface is perfect, so pets can pick up their toys. Alright, so that is it. This was fairly inexpensive, but everything I bought is just in a massive lump over here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm sorry it was a bit of a jumble of mess again, but never mind. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.